Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Kavito from CKIA IHK. I'm a neurovascular interventional radiologist. I'm going to have a chat with you regarding a common pandemic called uterine fibroids. Fibroids are very prevalent in Africa and in most people of African descent. When you go to the West, like in US, they are common in black Americans. In Canada, they will be common in black Canadians. We don't know why they occur, but they seem to be associated with um, a family history of fibroids, delayed childbirth, and generally genetics. And these fibroids cause various symptoms, depending one on number and two location. So you must realize that you can have fibroids and have no symptoms. The commonest symptoms are one is prolonged periods. The other symptom would be painful sexual intercourse. Um, you can have a distended tummy. In fact, some women will look pregnant with fibroids. These fibroids can also affect somebody's fertility. There will be difficulties becoming pregnant or there will be difficulties maintaining the pregnancy because when you have the fibroid, the consistency of the uterus changes. The symptoms are really very, very individualized and it all depends on fibroid size, number and location. When we get to management of fibroids, really if they are symptomatic, no need to do anything. But if you have fibroids with symptoms, then you should think about um, treatment. And uh, there are various treatment options. Surgery is the commonest. I won't speak about surgery. I'm not a gynecologist. I'm an interventional radiologist. I'm going to explain more about embolization, fibroid embolization. Now, embolization is a non-surgical option of treating uterine fibroids. Basically, the difference between embolization and surgery is that at surgery, they either take out the fibroids or take out the uterus. With embolization, we leave the uterus, sorry, we leave the fibroids in the uterus, but starve them. We cut off blood supply. That's what embolization means. Embolization means targeted cutting off of blood supply to these fibroids so that they stop growing. Because with blood supply, they use your nutrients to grow. A fibroid which is four centimeters today may be seven centimeters in three years. Because we are not taking out these fibroids, we are just starving them. It means with the embolization procedure, you can treat all the fibroids, whether they are eight or 10 or 100. You're basically just cutting off supply or you're causing targeted starvation. When you do that, the fibroids die, then you maintain the normal, the normal, the normal uterus. Embolization, it's a new technology. It's been happening around the world for the past 25 years. And we finally have it in Uganda. I'm very, very sure that we're going to do better and many women will benefit. So if you have symptomatic fibroids, surgery is not your only option. Uterine fibroid embolization is certainly a decent option, but you need to consult to see whether you benefit.